Well, he's making headlines just about every day. Yesterday, it was for his speech at Liberty, and he joins us now on the Ticket Hotline. We are one of the few local radio shows that he will join in this country. So we welcome once again to the program one of the candidates, in fact, the front runner for the Republican nomination for president, Donald Trump. Good morning. Okay. Okay. Let me just say that I think that your program is one of the most tremendous radio programs <laughs> of all time. Okay. Oh, well, thank you. It is, it is fantastic. It is first rate. Whoa. <laughs> thank you. So we're not losers. No. No, you're not losers. There are a lot of people in this country that are losers. They're mainly running against me right now. Okay. <laughs> Well, here you are seven or eight months into the campaign. You are still the front runner. Does it surprise you that you're so no, far out in front? Okay. I'll tell you why. Because America understands that I'm a winner, number one. I'm not a loser. I'm tremendous. I'm luxurious. Okay. <laughs> that uh, they understand that I'm a, an evangelical Christian. Okay. Okay. That I believe in Christianity. Mm -hmm. And this nonsense that's starting up about. Of, of something I said at the university mm -hmm. or college, whatever it is, liberty, something. <laughs> right. <laughs> this is a non-issue, okay? I know my Bible. I know it's Second Corinthians. I have many tremendous and luxurious friends from Corinthia, <laughs> okay? I think I know what I'm talking about. Yeah, you just seemed a little uneasy yesterday while trying to Look, quote Scripture. I know Scripture better than probably just about anyone. Okay. Okay. When Jesus met Paul on the shore of Lake Galileo and said, "You are my rock," I know these stories. <laughs> I know them inside and out. A little I off. personally met with the descendants of ten of the original fourteen apostles. Okay. <laughs> no, you're, I'm not sure about <laughs> okay. your math there, met but with them, met with them last night. They all endorsed me. Every single one of them. Wow. Uh, I own like the original Bible. The one that Jesus actually used in his services when he preached. <laughs> How great is that? Yeah, that's that's great. Well, I guess you do know more about religion than we give you credit for. So, do we need to apologize to him, or I, I don't know. No, because you guys understand that it, you believe me, correct? Uh, mm. I, some of that, I guess, I believe. Quiz yeah. me, quiz me on the Bible. Well, well, I don't know. What's your favorite book in the Bible? My favorite book of the Bible, it's got to be Job. Okay, you know, how great is that? An actual book in the Bible named after employment. <laughs> if you ever needed proof that Jesus was a capitalist, look right there in the Bible. He wrote a whole chapter in the Bible called Job. Okay? Pretty much says it all right there, doesn't it? I grew up a very deep and devout and tremendous evangelical Christian. I was one of the most tremendous Christians. I was given the Jesus Award by the Greater Bible Association of America. <laughs> Never heard of that. No, they had that. Okay, I'm following in his footsteps, his example. Jesus understood how to be a winner. And whenever I go to Rome, I always make it a point to visit the house that Jesus and his dad, Joe, built. They were carpenters. Not a lot of people know that. In Rome. They were not only carpenters. They were tremendous carpenters. They used what they had. They were not all, they were not all that well off at the time mm -hmm. because they had been taxed so much. Sound familiar? <laughs> they had been taxed so much by the famous department store, Herod's. But they understood that even if they were only just a family of four, you still built grandeur and luxuriousness, and to this day, St. Peter's Basilica is one of the most highly trafficked <laughs> spots in Rome. <laughs> Jesus' his childhood bedroom, which not a lot of people get to go into. Okay, uh -huh. I have. Jesus' childhood bedroom still has the posters of King David and Conscious Pilate <laughs> inside of it. <laughs> posters? Oh, you're... Uh... Oh, you're lukewarm at best on a lot of this. You're circling, but I'm not sure that you're... Uh, I see what you did there. You mentioned yet another one of the apostles, Luke Juan, <laughs> who wrote uh, one of the New Testament chapters, I believe. Uh, but, you know, about your, your Christian beliefs, uh, aren't are Christians all about love and just, you know... And, and Christians certainly... are about winning. <laughs> okay, okay. Listen... They're about winning. They know that I'm a winner, and that's why I'm going to beat the pants suit off Hillary Clinton in this upcoming election. Okay? Well, you because might. I and I alone have Jesus behind my back. Jesus respects me. <laughs> he he talks to me all the time. He sends me emails. Jesus is endorsing Donald Trump for president. Oh gosh. <laughs>
don't know. That's quite an endorsement. I can't recall a candidate ever having that endorsement before. If, if Jesus did not want me to win, why would he make me so successful for so very long? Hmm. I think you made yourself successful, and sometimes that hasn't been just real successful. You know, those casinos I think it's that been went under. successful. Okay. Oh, who is this? This is the loser, non Craig, who's very dissatisfied in his life. <laughs> oh, I'm Never fine. Anything. No. Check the polls. Look how much farther ahead I am in the polls than you are for a Republican candidate, okay? Uh, you yeah, are I guess. a loser. You probably have not had an orgasm Whoa. by something other than your own agency in a very long time. Oh, yeah. that's <laughs> not a very Christian like thing to say. Hello. Wow. <laughs> those, those were his parting words. Drop the phone after that. Yeah.